Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a good morning so far. Um, whenever you get on here, it's the usual. Say hello. Let me know you're watching. Don't just watch from a distance. Say hi. And if you catch the replay, hashtag replay so I can thank you for watching. Um, if you feel led to share this, please share. It definitely helps me, you know, grow my network, expand my business, all that fun stuff. So I got a box yesterday of new products. I wasn't expecting them to come so quick, but um, one of the things in there was this super cute little glitter makeup bag that we have only for, actually, before I show, before I open the bag, I'm going to put my primer on so it'll just, um, so it'll settle because I am going to put makeup on too. Um, I'm really impressed by the size of the glitter bag. This is just a holiday, not product, um, item. <laughs> so it's only here for the holidays, which is super, super cute. If you, you know, obviously you could get this for someone. I think it's $7. You could either put a couple cosmetics in it, or I think I mentioned this earlier. You could just throw like a candy cane, a Hershey Kiss, and like a $5 coffee gift card um, I think that would be a super cute gift so I got that and then inside here is the eyebrow pomade um, I got this mainly because I've never used a pomade before and I like to be able to let people know my honest opinion on products um, so I got an eyebrow pomade first impression looking at it I may have gotten a shade too light for me but yeah, I got the medium shade. So I laid my um, my brow mascara out just in case I need to go over top. So this is the brow pomade. I'm super excited to try it and just be able to tell you about it. Um, I got a couple, I think there's just a couple other things in here, yeah. Okay, so I got this calendula hand cream because I love having lotion, but I specifically got the little travel size because I wanted to throw it in the diaper bag. That way I'm not always using Coco's lotion if my hands are dry. Um, so I got this to throw it in the diaper bag. If you use a purse, throw it in your purse. It's super, super hydrating, especially for wintertime calendula. This is a line that's specifically for dry skin, so it's amazing. You're definitely going to want it. So this is just the hand cream. I think it was 3 or $4 for the little... Um, a little goes a long way, so it's going to last you. I got a new lip color, which I'm so excited to put this on. I think this is, su yeah, this is Superstar. So I'm excited to try this out. And then two of the other products, I'm only going to try one of them today. Um, but I got both of them just so I can have other reviews to do. And, you know, if this is something that, if there's something in the catalog that you are wanting to know how to use it, or just want a good review on it let me know and if I already have it then I'll do a video for you but if I don't then I'll order it and that's what I just did um, for one of my girlfriends hi Mary you guys whenever you get on here say hi let me know that you're watching um, so I got the three-in-one face palette and then I also got a face sculpting palette so the three-in-one face palette is what I'm going to show you today I'm gonna play around with this and it's gonna be completely out of my comfort zone because one of the obviously it's a three in one so there's blush in here and I feel like to really use the whole palette like to show you guys how pretty it is I need to put the blush on so but this is you get a bronzer a blush and then a really really pretty I don't know if you can even tell that that's like a, a gold glittery highlight so I'm gonna put those on today I'm pretty excited and I'm gonna put on superstar so I've definitely got some new products to test out, but I'm always wanting to do helpful videos to show you guys how to use products. All of my videos are going to be beginner status, so <laughs> if you're a beginner, then these should be very helpful to you. If I ever need to break anything down for you even more, then let me know and I'd be more than happy to. So I am putting on my VFX foundation. And I'm just using a little beauty blender from pharmacy. I think this one was six dollars, six or seven dollars, and it's so 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 soft. It's so soft. So I'm using shade two in VFX foundation because I still have a decent amount of my spray tan left. I'm really impressed with it. 
the ladies in Merritt Island, I think it's like the Merritt Island Airbrush Company or something like that. They did a really, really good job. And we had our pictures taken on Saturday. So we left our picture, like our family photo shoot, and I just felt like we had so much fun. And that's never a feeling that I feel like you have when you're leaving a photo shoot. I mean, obviously, you know, we were definitely done being out in the sun, but I just felt like we had so much fun as a family and our photographer is amazing. She is in the Orlando area. Um, she'll travel to our area some, but um, originally she was going to take our pictures here in town and then she was like, listen, you have to come check out this park and I, I'll have to double check the name. I think it was like Blue Jetty Park. Um, I don't know why that sounds, it's blue something, um, but it's in Orlando. It was, it's so pretty. So if you have the opportunity to go there and have your pictures taken or if you want Amanda's information, which you'll see it um, if you haven't already, because she'll definitely be tagged when we get our pictures. She is great, and she just works so well with us. And so I'm so 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 excited to get our to get our pictures back. It was just such I don't know. I've never left a photo session thinking, "Wow, that was so much fun." But our little family, I don't know. I just felt like we had had a lot of fun. I don't know if my husband would say the same thing, but you know, I don't expect men to like <laughs> go crazy about having their pictures taken. <laughs> but I liked it. Okay, so what am I doing now? I'm going to put on some, maybe I'll do just a little bit of eyeshadow primer and then I'm going to try out the pomade before I move into the, the three in one face palette. I love this eyeshadow primer. It works so well and it just takes a tiny bit. I just dabbed my finger in there and it all just smooths over my lid. But this will help. It really changes the, the appearance of your eyeshadow. It makes it stand out a little bit more. It is going to keep it from creasing if that's ever a problem that you have. If you have oily eyelids, this is gonna keep it from moving around and disappearing on you throughout the day. So it's super important to wear a primer. <laughs> Here comes my naked baby. <laughs> I thought her show would distract her enough. <laughs> Say, I found you, mama. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> All right, so let's get her some stuff that doesn't already, oh, she likes playing with my primer. I know it sounds gross. <laughs> my primer is like covered in baby oatmeal. <laughs> Oh, there's a lipstick. Uh, I don't want you playing with powder. Jingle! Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Playing. Okay. So, let's try to put this um, pomade on one-handed. See what we can do. So, I'm just using a double-sided um, brow brush, really. So, you've got the, the bristles to tame your brows. Make sure they're all going the same way. And then you have the flat end. So I'm just going to, I've never used this pomade before. I've never used any pomade before, but I've got a little bit of product here. And we're going to see. So typically with pomade, with pomade, there's so many different things that you can do with your brows. Okay, you can, you can draw them on. You can make them bigger. You can make them fuller. You can make them as dramatic as you want. Or you can keep them you know, subtle, you can fill in, hi dad, <laughs> um, or you can fill in. So obviously I typically keep all of my makeup more subtle. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to draw anything on, but with a pomade, you could start here and you can really just kind of fill in the, any areas that need filling in. It's, This is um, multitasking at its finest, trying to put on makeup one-handed, explain what it does, how it feels. <laughs> Who's that, Papa Mike? Papa Mark got on there. Hi, Papa Mike. <laughs> I don't know if he's still on there or not, but if he is, and then he'll say hi. Okay. But he, I think Papa Mark is working today. So there's a chance he might not be Everybody's in there still. Right? So 
it went on pretty darn easy and I was nervous that this was going to be too light for me um, just because I really like the brow mascara in the darkest shade so I thought it was going to be a little too light but I really really like that and it just it filled in pretty quick and I'm just barely dabbing I know you can't see the product on my brush but I am just barely dabbing and putting any product on here you want to use a light hand when you're filling in your brows at least for me um, I don't know what it's like to you know do dramatic brows consistently so maybe you need a heavy hand for that I don't know <laughs> but to me it makes sense to have a lighter hand so you can fill in where needed and then blend out if needed as well so I'll show you the other end of this brush you'll you can use the spoolie end again when you're done putting the product in place yeah, I think I really like this pomade. It's a really creamy consistency almost that glides on very smooth like a gel would. So then after you get your product on, you can go back over it just to make sure that it's blended out. So I really like that. I'm still not convinced if I like the color though, but I do like the product for itself. Can I have my lid? Thank you. Coco is not dressed yet, so I was trying to keep her off camera, <laughs> but she has other plans, obviously. All right, so there is our brows and then, so typically what I do, I'm gonna go into with a three-in-one face palette now. And I'm going to show it to you again. Coco. <laughs> if I can open it one-handed. There we go. So there's a bronzer in here. Typically what I've been using for my bronzer is this contour stick, which I love. It's my first time ever using anything like this besides a powder to contour with. I love that it's super, super creamy. Makes it easy to blend. So typically that's what I use, but for the sake of today, using my new palette, I'm just gonna use my the bronzer in that palette. And I'm actually gonna highlight a little bit too. Oh my goodness, you know what? I didn't even check to see which um, concealer that was. That is my orange concealer. <laughs> that is not the one that I wanted. Hi, Cassie. Um, here it is. Yeah, it doesn't really look orange. It just kind of it just covers up everything. So typically, I have an orange concealer because if I were to cover up dark circles, I love to color correct my dark circles first with a soft orange concealer, and then you can brighten them up. So that is the trick to I have found that works best, and I've had several customers do the exact same thing, and they love the difference that it makes. And I always put a little bit of highlight right here on my chin, nose, and then up there as well. I swear it doesn't always take me this long to do my makeup either. I was so impressed. So if you watched my video whenever I did that a couple weeks ago, I think, um, I was doing a trial run for our photography makeup for our family pictures. And I think the video was an hour. <laughs> So I was a little nervous Saturday, getting ready Saturday morning because I was curling my hair. That takes me a while. And then I'm like, man, I don't have I don't have time to sit here for another hour trying to do my makeup. You guys, I had my makeup done in maybe 10 minutes. Maybe. Meaning it might not have even taken me that long. I had <laughs> I was so impressed. I had all my products laid out in front of me, which obviously it's always longer on here because I'm talking and you know all that but I was so impressed with myself and it turned out so good it was like the perfect day we'd even moved our um, our picture time um, up so we had them earlier in the morning than expected because uh, at one point we thought it was just gonna turn into like a really yucky rainy day um, so we moved it up and it was still perfect so there is just a really pretty soft highlight and now I'm going to go in with an angled blush brush and use this bronzer. I'm just going to start with a little bit because I've never used this, so I'm not really sure what the pigments are going to be like. 
and that is also you know another tip start with a very little product and then if you need to build you can build up but it's way easier to start with a little bit of product um, it's easier to start with a little bit and add a little bit more as you go than it is to add a whole bunch and try to blend it all out I still can't get over how my those baby hairs are like growing like crazy all of a sudden <laughs> so I was like losing my hair like I feel like is normal for postpartum and then as soon as that stopped um, all of those baby hairs just started growing like crazy so I always go down here as well pretty much just contour anything that you would like to to disappear <laughs> so I've got a subtle little glow there. So we'll see if we can tell the difference yet. <gasps> oh my gosh. Um, can you bring me her diaper bag, please, Baba? <laughs> her um, fingers just went all in <laughs> my palette. No, Baba, just bring me her whole bag and I'll find what I need. <laughs> mm. Okay, thank you. And I'm gonna see if Chrissy will come back over there and watch the show. Alright, here's a baby light. You can't wait to do your makeup. I know. Django wants to do my makeup so bad, but I'm like, <laughs> I've never played with this three in one palette, so I need to test uh. it first. Alright. Okay, <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. So, I should have put my hair up so we could really tell, but you can definitely tell that that side is a little more contoured now, <laughs> now that my palette has like fingernail marks <laughs> taken out of it. So I'll go ahead and try to do the same thing over here. I'm actually going to use this palette as my eyeshadow as well, so I'm not going to be using any other products. We're going to take full advantage of this being an actual three-in-one face palette. And then we'll go down here. So far, I like the glow that it is giving with the bronzer. And then you can even squeeze your brush to make it a little bit smaller. And we'll go right down our nose, the sides of our nose, because we put highlight in the middle, so then we'll do bronzer on the sides. Alright, and now the blush. This part makes me so nervous because I'm not, I never wear blush ever. Where did my lipstick go? Um, I have a new lipstick as well to try that it seems Coco has, <laughs> has taken. Okay, I see it down there. <laughs> it's on the other side of the floor. I'll go grab it. Oh, there's a charger up there. Okay, I'm going to do a swatch of this on my arm first so I know how like what the pigments are like in this blush before I start putting it on my face. I think it's gonna be okay. I think we can do it, guys. I'm gonna keep it closer to, okay, all right, I see it there. <laughs> we'll leave that there and then blend it out. Okay. I'm definitely gonna blend that part out. Um, let me see. I have another clean brush so I can go in with the highlight as well. I have a feeling that's gonna be really, really pretty. 
And then the highlight, I'm just going to put right... Holy cow. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Can you see that highlight? <laughs> that was really cool. So I'm trying the 3-in-1 face palette. I just ordered it because I have a friend wanting to really know how to... Bubba, leave it up there. It was already plugged in. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm just trying to blend this blush out a little bit. I am not a blush wear, so this makes me so nervous. <laughs> but I do think that it's a pretty color. And if I can keep it closer to it just needs to blend it out really, really bad. For me, anyways. I do think it's a pretty color though. Which is also hard to come by because I'm you know, I'm just not really someone that's into blush, so I don't normally look at a blush and be like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty, I need it. <laughs> but I do like this one. Get used to that. Oh, Rachel. I swear. I... <laughs> I am ready for some changes. I'm not sure if I can get that to blend anymore. I don't know. What do you think, Rachel? You wear blush. I am going to put some more highlighter on because that highlighter, I don't know if, how well you can see that on camera, but I'll have to get a different angle in lighting that you can see better because that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Like that, I know you can see that. I really, really like that. All right, we'll leave it like that for now. Let me get some brushes to do my eyeshadow with, which I don't have all my brushes, all my eyeshadow brushes out here. So I will have to use what I have. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to add in, yes, Jengi, will you hand me my lipstick down there on the floor, please? Wonder when lipstick down on the floor. Sissy threw it. So this is the bronzer from the palette, from the 3-in-1 face palette. It's hard to see the highlight, but the blush is pretty, definitely looks like it's highly pigmented. It is. I know, I figured the, um, the highlight would be kind of hard to see, but... It's definitely very pigmented. Thank you, Bubba. Um, even the bronzer, I mean the bronzer, this is the bronzer that I'm just putting all through the crease. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't feel, I don't even feel like I'm picking up a lot of pigment, but it definitely looks like I am. Oh, and Rachel, I used the brow pomade today, um, which I had never used today. So I just got that as well. Have you used the pomade? I normally just use the brow mascara and I really really like it that's what I used for pictures on Saturday which I'm so excited to get back okay so there is that and then for I'm gonna use the blush color on my lid as well I'm just gonna use all of it That is really pretty, even on your eyelids. Your eyebrows do look really good. Thank you. <laughs> See, look at that blush color on my eyelid. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, and for pictures, I almost didn't use my Morocco pigment, but I switched it at the very end. Um, I still use my my Vice Brown palette, my eyeshadow palette. Um, but in, at first, I was like, well, I'm not going to use the Morocco. I'm just going to use this shimmery shade in the Vice Brown. And I got my brush wet so it, with the setting spray so it would be a little more vibrant looking. 
and put a thick layer of that on and I really liked it but then after I put my lashes on and it was done I'm like I have to put a little bit of the Morocco on and I'm really glad that I did so the Morocco pigment is definitely one of my favorite my favorite products for sure okay so there is that for the blush and then I'm gonna take just a tiny little bit of the highlight and just dab it in the corner that highlight is so pretty it is a really really pretty gold highlight that's probably my favorite highlight that I've seen so far I need that then. What, the three? Oh, the Morocco pigment. Yes, you need the Morocco pigment. And what are you using on your eyes um, for them to be so yellow? I kept meaning to ask you that. But I really, I really like your, I think you did it. No, it wasn't. I don't think your eye, your eyeshadow was yellow on, um, on Saturday. I think that you used the creamy eyeshadow, the pineapple one. Is that what you're using? on your eyes because I feel like I need that one and then this is the this is just a metallic brown the extra last eye pencil it's also super creamy glides on like gel I just put it on my waterline golden shot that's what it was I don't know what pineapple is. Maybe the yellow pigment's called pineapple. <laughs> okay. And what do you wear it with? What other colors do you typically, like what are your go-tos with it? That way I can just order it all because I really, really like it. <laughs> oh, let me put this on top too. I was thinking the pineapple pigment. Yeah. I th yeah, that must be the pineapple is the pigment. Hi, Cindy. <laughs> okay, I know you're not. So typically you don't want to pull your eyelids across or out when you're putting on eyeliner, but I do. It's easier for me to put on eyeliner, especially when I'm doing a pencil, because I have like the loosest eyelids ever. Like, I don't know how or why the skin on my eyelids is so loose. I feel like it shouldn't be, <laughs> but it is. Look, you can see that highlight even better now that I'm closer. Isn't that so pretty? Okay, so this is just the metallic brown. I wore this on Saturday too. All right, before I do my um, my eyeshadow, or my eyeshadow, before I do my mascara, I'm gonna put on my lips real quick. So this is a new lip color for me. This is Superstar. So we're about to see how well it blends with everything that I've got going on right now. Apparently I'm doing a full face of makeup. My go-to is the light brown and vice brown and dark brown. Oh, okay, Rachel. So I need the yellow creamy eyeshadow and then I'll be set. All right. Is going to need some fixing. I always feel like it's so much harder to put on darker colors. Okay. Um. think of that lip color I feel like hmm. 
I don't know. I don't know what I think about it. I definitely don't care for it with the rest of this look. I'm going to leave it on though while I do my mascara. So this is the new Double Lash Extend Mascara. Um, which I saw Rachel putting this on and she did volume first and then length. So I'm going to try it because I always do the length first. So this is just one wand in here, but there's different ways that you pull it out to open it. So I'm going to do volume first. Maybe skin in the middle. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let me grab skin real quick. Okay, here's skin. Um... I think I was expecting it to be a little more purple or something. I don't know. I think that it's throwing me off too because of my eyeshadow and the extra makeup. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe the rest of my makeup was toned down. <laughs> Let And I definitely lightened it. I'll have to play around with it. Maybe I'll just end up wearing skin today. <laughs> Alright, so let's do the volume part first. Now, I always just take off extra product just to make it easy. I feel like it goes on easier that way. So this is the volume part of the double last mascara. Double lash mascara. Normally, like I said, I do the volume or the length part first, but I've been seeing others do it the opposite way. I don't think there's a right or wrong way. I think it's really just a preference. Really, all makeup. <laughs> Everything's always just a preference, and until you play around with some things, then you may not know what you really like. So that is just the volume portion because I definitely, I don't know if I ever would have gotten this 3-in-1 palette, face palette, if my friend didn't want me to help her learn how to use it. Alright, so that is just the volume. This is the length portion. And I'll show you in just a second but how different the wand is from the um, volume side. I might be doing a team training today, Rachel. A team rise. Um, I have just had a message from Ashley, so we'll see what she says. So, I don't know, I like that. Putting it on that way, just a little bit different, but, oh, let me get the bottom, my bottom lash line too. Because that will definitely bother me if I don't have my mascara in there. And I like the lip color so far better now that it's toned down. Do you have Superstar yet, Rachel? I think I want Autumn Story to be my next purchase. And I think you have that one. Okay, so this is the volume portion. So this brush is more, I feel like the bristles are a little bit harder to see. Um, it's a, a thicker portion of the wand to be the volume. side is always harder for me for some reason.
with the mascara, it's all coming together. The morning is ending. Yeah, the mascara is helping it too, Rachel. Scared of bold colors. <laughs> oh, I want red. That is the one that I'm ordering soon because I really want to wear red lips for um, for Christmas. And red love so far. That's the one I've seen that I've been catching my eye the most. Okay, so here's the volume brush. You can see the bristles. You can just help. You can see that they're there a little bit more. This wand is going to be thinner. So this is going to help really lengthen and lashes. And then I always do my eyes like the same eye back to back. If you've noticed, I did this. I did the volume and then went over with the length instead of doing volume, volume, length, length. Um, because I feel like it gives my eye too much time to dry. I like to just do it all in a quick, smoothing motion and then move to the next eye, if that makes sense. Okay. I like that. Oh, Red love me too. It's coming. Oh, I can't wait to see it on you. I can't wait to see it. So, oh, that's it. What do you think? This is a, definitely a very um, old look. But I think I like it. My camera is completely glitching. I hope we're not losing internet again. We did it yesterday um, because of the weather. It's, it doesn't even look like the wind is blowing right now, so we have zero issues. <laughs> I think that I like it, guys. And just a reminder, um, if you haven't heard yet, I am in a order tomorrow night at 9. So if you're local, um, send me your orders before 9 p.m. I basically just place a huge order, order a bulk order, and I cover shipping. And then I'm covering shipping for five, my first five non local people that reach out to me. Um, to place an order that may not qualify for free shipping. So let me know if you're not local to me. Um, so for now, I have all five of those spots open. So let me know. Internet is sketchy. Yep. It is really pretty. Thank you, Rachel. I think I like it. I do. That was fun. I'm glad that I did this. So that is the free one. And I don't remember the price of this off my head. I want to say it's $18 for all of these. It. So, mine is going to be used in the concealer. Um, that was it. I'm going to hop off of here because I can see my face glitching. 